There in that aerated water. Reason to sit. I heard him blow up, wouldn't it? You have size?
thought you'd be bigger while you were keeping him down for so long. Two days ago with that rain they would have moved back there, wouldn't they? And you're liking to measure fish today, aren't you? They're right on the border. I think there's one right there. Just run over him? I'll measure them all day long if they're keepers. He looks keeper too.
two in a row. And they're both pretty good. Really? Yeah. So here's the good part and bad part about kind of figuring something out during the tournament. When it's going your way and everything's going good, you know, like everything you see in front of you is good and, and like it's pretty easy. It all makes sense. And I knew it was probably going to change sometime throughout the day. Here's the dilemma I get into. And, and this is still to me the hardest dilemma. Very easy to look back after this, after all these bites. So I had about 10 bites during the tournament after the initial two to three hours of the morning. What will happen is it I'm still getting bit. They're just missing it. And it's like, hey, change color. And, and I did. That didn't seem to help. Um, try a different bait. The problem is just because you try a different bait doesn't mean they're going to eat it. Like I'm still getting bit. Like I'm still creating an action to where they want to bite. I really just think it's time of day. And I really believe this also because it actually got worse to where they actually just stopped biting it all together. And I think it was just because of the sun and it just gets harder throughout the day. Like I said, it's very hard to change because I'm still generating a bite. They're just, they're just not hitting it like they were in the morning time. Um, it's just, just one of those things that's, that sometimes very hard to figure out because we're actually on a very, very tough fishery where guys are struggling to catch a limit. So uh, that also plays a part, you know, there are probably guys that aren't even catching a limit, probably aren't even getting bit. I'm at least figuring out how to get bit. So just wanted to throw that in there. You loaded up good. Yeah, there it is. Five. Don't have to worry about him. No, he's good. And once a day, I would break off. Uh, this one was more of a of a clean break. I, I think I was on something. If you see, I actually kind of checked it for a little bit. I think it was over something. That's why it broke so cleanly. Um, but man, it just once a day when you're fishing around cables and things rocks like that, it, it's almost impossible you're going to break off even if you retie. This was my one break off for the day. You had weight on the end of it for a minute. But you had it. And for whatever reason, I had one of these a day. One where everything went right, blow them up hard, 
and they come off instantly. Like you don't even get a reel on them. Uh, I don't know if that's a spot deal. That rarely happens with large mouse. Um, that's the only thing I can figure out, man, is that it's, that it's something with a spot thing. Kind of a weird deal. Hey, is it gonna mess you up if I go down that bank? Okay. I didn't think it was, but just wanna make sure. Really? I had a bit I had a big group of them yesterday morning. I'm sure those same fish they'll get up here and wolf pack. I had like nine of them like wolf pack yesterday right there. Pretty good one. What'd y'all do yesterday? I had four yesterday. What's that? I had four yesterday. I have a limit today. Like 15 pounds worth of or something like that? Uh, 14. No, 15. I'm sorry. Dogs real quick, I guess. I'm just not gonna bite this. I'm getting on the dogs pretty good though. Yesterday's pattern fell apart, huh? Yesterday's pattern fell apart?